Well, I think not only the church, but the place. You know, it's, it's the ghost village of Salisbury Plain, and it always has a fascination for people. And I think probably because of the restricted access, people always make a point of coming when there is access. And the same people come time and time again. At that time, the Ministry of Defence, or the War Department as it was then, owned most of the freeholds of the properties, and they gave the villagers a month's notice just before Christmas 1943 to evacuate. And it is said that there was a promise that they would return after the war, or when the War Department no longer had need of the land. And of course, as we know, they never gave it back. My grandfather was the village blacksmith and uh, he was in his 60s. He'd worked in that trade all his life and then suddenly from out of the blue he had to leave everything behind and it, to him it was, the, it was the end, it was the end of his life. It's, it's supposed to be off limits uh, from any firing that uh, is going on, but uh, occasionally the odd stray flare does uh, land in the churchyard. But uh, fortunately, the church hasn't suffered any serious damage. Uh, but no, that was the Timber Court farm at the top, and then uh, there's some more red brick houses you can see. Well, I knew it was here. It's just that I've never been here before. And until they started with the firing and the on the firing range, it spoilt the tranquility of it all. Well, uh, it's nice to be able to come here in this, but I do find the whole place very sad, really. Mm. I, it fills me with a sense of regret of you know lives a gone past and a community destroyed and so on. We understand the reasons, but. Uh, but I do find it a sad place to come to. I feel relieved that people are able to come back to the village and to come back and see the church as it is now. It's been well and truly preserved for the future and as to me the church is a monument 
it represents the village that once stood here because this is all that is left. The rest of the village is no more.